Today's adventure takes us to Bocos del Toro, an archipelago off the coast of Panama, filled with crystal clear waters, boat taxis for transportation to amazing hostels, and rainforests that host exotic frogs that might be poisonous. There's just one problem, we gotta get there. I'm Tim Dameron, and here's my story. At 24, I surrendered everything to chase my dreams of traveling the world. We are all faced with the decision to follow the path that lay before us or go searching for something incredible. Come journey with me on my dirt road adventure. Good morning, everyone. We got a special guest appearance. Hey. It's <laughs> Anina, and she is from Switzerland. Famous for the cheese. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm really sick today with this virus going around called Rascata. In Spanish, it uh, translates to hangover. Anina is getting her laundry. This is what a laundry looks like. What's this? You're gonna check that you have all your clothes? I think it's fine. <laughs> this trip is gonna take a shuttle across the border and then a boat all the way to the islands. And I don't really know what I'm gonna do when I get to the islands. Hopefully there's taxis that pick us up. I just feel like in these videos, all of you viewers, it makes it we make it seem like everything's always planned out and we know what we're doing when most of the time we're just playing it by ear and just going with the flow and if something comes up we just adjust and it's kind of a metaphor for life you know things don't go your way um just to adapt and go with it and we're getting kind of deep here <laughs> you don't know what you're doing on your trip we found out yesterday that bocas is actually out of water right now so we're buying as much water as we can and we're carrying it across the border. This is, we're smuggling water. Yeah. Hola. Hola. It's just the local farmer's market. Watermelon, pineapple, it's all a dollar. Are you laughing at my Spanish? Thank you. All right, YouTube, I ran out of money. Send me some money. This will take me to the border. I don't speak any Spanish, so. I think it's going to be an issue when crossing over to Panama. We are at the border of Panama and Costa Rica. Después caminamos, cruzamos el puente y está otro carro esperando del lado de Panamá. I have no idea what he said. <laughs> he was speaking half Spanish and half English. This is proof you you don't need to understand what the border patrol says. Uh, Tim Dareman? Yeah, right there. See. Who's the goodest drug dog? Success. What makes Bocas del Toro unique is all the boat taxis they use to get around since it's just a bunch of tiny islands. These can range anywhere from one to eight dollars and this boat will take me right to my hostel. Here's where I'm staying. It's half rainforest and half beach. It is $20 a night. We can all afford that. All right, we have a big adventure today, so we gotta eat up our protein and veggies and carbs. This meal, it is $4 and a dollar for endless coffee. I look really good when I eat. <laughs> All right, our first stop is the famous Red Frog Beach. It's gonna be a tough trip to get there. We got some obstacles. It's the only way to the beach is to cross this line with Deadly animals if I fall. <laughs> Alright, this is known as the century year old gigantic stump of Red Frog Beach, and you have to crawl over it. I think I trained for years. I'm just kidding because our hostel ended up being on the beach of Red Frog. That's my hostel in the back, and here's Red Frog Beach. I plan on taking great shots, but something stopped me. Mother Nature. This beach is more family oriented, but the sand actually feels like clouds. Kids will also try to sell you empanadas on the beach, and I'm too weak to say no. Our second destination today is Polo Beach. It's just supposed to be gorgeous. Views, blue waters. Do you know how big the island is, Anina? Not so big. All right, none of us really searched, researched any of this <laughs> island. So we're just gonna figure it out ourselves. With adventure. It cost us zero dollars to get a local guide. I'll name him Sparky. I don't feel like you have to pay for any kind of guides on this island. They'll just help you for free and maybe for a little treat later from your 
dinner plate. We just hitchhiked a ride to the restaurant. We, we forgot our tour guide. Our golf cart took us to this gorgeous restaurant. Just look at this view. He's lived here for 10 years. Says, welcome to paradise. I can get used to this place. We have made it to Polo Beach just by walking. So this is totally, completely free. I've seen beaches all over the world and the water is so blue here, I think it tops all of them. Besides that, we were the only ones at the beach, which I enjoyed because I hate beaches that are just loaded with people and tourists. And so if you're just looking for a place to hang out and tan, and not be bothered, it's perfect. And the views are gorgeous. Now it's time to go grab some food. Just ask the golf cart drivers to pick you up. They'll do it. Okay. Gracias, amigo. Thank you. Right, it is finally time to get some lunch because we've been at the beach all day working up an appetite and we found a hidden gem that's cheap and it is just I'll show you, come on. An authentic Central American meal pizza. It costs us each four dollars, but look at this view that just takes my breath away. But I noticed there's a cut on my foot from the rocks in the ocean. So time for some medical treatment. American medical care. So these islands are known for their blue water, but my takeaway is just how nice everyone is in the culture here because I've been walking along the streets just looking confused and lost and they just come up to me and ask me where am I going they asked me if they could help the one time I was looking at the coins like a foreign object and the one local came up to me and just explained what they're all worth and so it's gonna be my takeaway and something that maybe we could all do at home look around us because we're all so busy and who could we help all right that's all for today remember to like and subscribe Woo! please